pass, Mitch Hedberg. I like to wear this pass because it helps me know when I'm upside down. Uh, hey, uh, I was getting my teeth whitened, but then I said, forget that, I'll just get a tan instead. I saw a billboard, it said, estimated at Lotto Jackpot, 55 million. See, I didn't know that was estimated. That would suck if you want to go, oh, we were off by two zeros. We estimate that you are angry. I like rice. Rice is great when you're hungry and you want 2,000 of something. I saw a commercial on late night TV. It said, forget everything you know about slip covers. So I did. And it was a load off my mind. Then the commercial tried to sell slip covers, but I didn't know what the hell they were. You guys are cool, man. Canada is all right. I like the American-Canadian border, because if you're walking along the border with a friend and you push your friend into Canada, he can't push you back right away, because first he has to go through customs. <laughs> what brings you to Canada, dad? <laughs> when you leave it, when I regain my equilibrium? I went to the doctor, all he did was suck blood from my neck. Do not go see Dr. Acula. <laughs> Dr. Scholl makes foot products. And he's a doctor, so he went to school for a long time. But it doesn't take a lot to figure out that stepping on a cushion will be more comfortable. <laughs> that guy wasted lots of time at school. Cause I'd have bought that from a Mr. Scholl. Maybe even a senior show. <laughs> I got a belt on that's holding up my pants, and my pants have belt loops. I hold up my belt. I don't know what's really happening down there. <laughs> Who is the real hero? <laughs> I walk by a dry cleaner at 3 a.m., and the sign says, sorry, we're closed. You don't have to be sorry. It's 3 a.m., and you're a dry cleaner. <laughs> it would be ridiculous for me to expect you to be open. I'm not going to walk in at 10 a.m. and say, hey, man, I walked by at 3 and you guys were closed. Somebody owes me an apology. <laughs> I called the hotel operator. She said, how can I direct your call? Well, you could say action. <laughs> and I will begin to dial. Then when I say goodbye, you can yell cut. <laughs> and if you want, you can wear a beret and knickers. Is a hippopotamus a hippopotamus or a really cool apotamus? <laughs> hey man, if you're a fish and you want to become a fish stick, you have to have very good posture. <laughs> you can't be a slouchy fish or you will be a fish clump. <laughs> I went to the store, I bought eight apples. The clerk said, do you want me to put them in a bag? I said, oh no man, I juggle. But I can only juggle eight. If I'm ever here buying nine apples, bag them up! <laughs> I got a new CD. It's in stores. And when you have a CD in stores, you have to do in-store appearances. If nobody shows up, I just pretend like I'm shopping. <laughs> That's how I shop. I sit behind a table with a pen. I hate to dream. Dreaming takes energy. Sleeping is supposed to be a rela relaxing affair. I lay down on the bed. It feels great. Next thing you know, I have to build a go-kart with my ex-landlord. <laughs> hey, if you can't sleep, count sheep. Don't count endangered animals. You will run out. <laughs> I order the club sandwich all the time, and I'm not even a member, man. I don't know how I get away with it. I like my sandwiches with three pieces of bread. So do I. Well, let's form a club. <laughs> okay, but we need some more stipulations. Yes, we do. Instead of the cutting the sandwich once, let's cut it again. <laughs> Hell yeah, four triangles. And we'll position them into a circle. And in the middle, we will dump chips. <laughs> or potato salad. Cool. I can deal with that. <laughs> Let me ask you a question. How you feel about frilly toothpicks? I'm for them. Well, this club is formed then. I like to take a toothpick and throw it in the forest and say, you're home. <laughs>
Some people think I'm high on stage. I would never get high before a show, because when I'm high, I don't want to stand in front of a bunch of people that I don't know. That does not sound comfortable. Like when you're high and a joke doesn't work, it's extra scary. It's like, whoa, what the hell happened there? I am retreating within myself. Why have all these people gathered? And why am I elevated? Why am I not facing the same way as everyone else? And what is this electric stick in my hand? I like the way this is situated here. It seems like you guys were chasing me, closing in, then said, fuck it, let's sit down. All right, thank you very much.